three episodes left, I think, until we're done with season two. And it's kind of crazy that four episodes out, like, they introduced a brand new characters. We have Kan Kan, we have Yurine, and she is such... Yurine is actually basically us. Just rooting for her. Yamada and Ichikawa, or should I say Kyo and Anna. And she just wants to figure out what love is. It's actually so wholesome. We're into our final year of middle school. There's some, you know, class exchanges. Arachi, salute, gone. Kanzaki, actually in our class, but Hara, gone. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction. Sports festival. Oh shit. The last junior high festival ever. Yeah, third place. I like this sensei. She's more fun than their last homeroom teacher. The last homeroom teacher wasn't bad. It's just that he was just like a sturdy, big, calm, giant guy, right? This this girl is like very fun. She just wants to flex with their teachers. The only reason she wants to win is to flex on the other fucking teachers. Bro, look at her. She's always just like staring at him, huh? Just like that peripheral vision, huh? Most pointless. It's not pointless. It's fun. But he's not very athletic. Oh, it's that guy again. What the fuck? He's talking. I thought that these are some background characters that didn't matter that got introduced. But hold up. Blonde Mohawk. Okay, what's he all about? Kishu. Knight. Yeah. Because you're light. You're small. It's easy to carry. Is that puny? He's not? What do you mean? Oh. Hmm. I think that he just looks scary because of his blonde mohawk, but he's not a bad person. I don't know. We, we gotta get more of him, but my first impression, I think that people have the wrong idea of him because of his appearance. So he's not puny, and he's got guts, huh? Yeah, because you want to fucking group the girls. Come on, bro. Huh? I thought he was going to say, hold up. Yo, did you get bigger down there? Like, why would she just... Who does this? Who does this? I'm like, damn, you are packing down there. You know what? What that guy said before about Ichika being puny? Yama, that was right. Bro is huge! Got a little gross bird. <laughs> what? What? Hello? Did he? Did he? Redcon. This never happened. I'm pretty sure I've watched every Dangerous in My Heart episode. I do not remember this ever happening. If it did, I would have been fucking livid. This never happened, right? And now we're seeing it for the first time, right? Yeah, because she's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And I like her? He's gone. He doesn't want to hear this shit, bro. Really? Even before library shit, the snack shit, we already did this. Oh, interesting. This is like before episode one, maybe. Careful. Careful. Yeah, I want to kill. That's so sad that you're just self-aware to the point you're admitting that you are trash. Like, and how are you going to have this look of like superiority when you're submitting yourself as trash no one else thinks that you yourself do but it's crazy how much we've come huh character development cringe memories yep oh he has a scar from it wow he protected her i never knew he had a scar like that what the now she strokes the scar i thought she's cocked adachi you never had a chance. I'm sorry. Ishika is trying so hard to not hurt your feelings, but like, come on. You gotta know when to give up. You got Moipi, though. You got Moiko. You and Moiko, man. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's trying to figure it out. He's figuring it out. Adachi, what you doing? Yeah? A duel? Between men? 
and to see who gets to secure Yamada. And if I win, I'll react. I'm reacting. I'm reacting. Let's do it. 1v1, let's go. It is for him, though. Look at that. Best wow, he's even doing cardio training? Wait, why are you doing cardio training? Like, uh, maybe the other matches. But the calorie shit is like, you get piggyback. I wonder who's gonna... Will Yamata hold him up? I don't know. But I, I, I think the blonde guy will, right? And like, you basically get on top and... And then what is it? I think it's a battle of trying to get people's headbands or some shit? I think that might be a myth. I did grow up hearing that shit, but I think the science behind why working out while you're growing can stunt you is like, when you have such excessive force being, um, like basically hurting you when you're doing squats or like anything that would compress your spine? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I, I think it's a myth. I genuinely do. But uh, anyways. Oh, oh true. Yamada's... Oof. Oof. Why are you here? Hello? Were you following? Oof. I don't think she was following. <laughs> that was a random chance. Hey! Don't act like we didn't see that. You can't fucking see you put that face on after you go woof woof woof. I, I can tell. What, what was Wantaro saying? <laughs> he wouldn't understand you either. I think that dogs understand specific words. If you train them to understand, like if you say this keyword, then a treat will come or it's time to go for a walk. There's some keywords they do for sure understand, but like, you know, going woof woof is like, what the fuck is that gonna do? Yeah. Hey, episode 12.5, the zombie apocalypse episode. The sunlight! He would lose. He can't keep up with her. Wow, holding hands. <laughs> she's walking two dogs right now. Straight up, she's literally walking two dogs. I'm surprised he kept up. Ooh, why don't we come over? What? What? Huh? Hey now, hey now, what are these subs saying? Wanna pop in for a quickie? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Mama, this is the today. This uh, is the He's gonna do it. <laughs> That's crazy. She's gonna be rolling in front. The cameraman's gonna hold this fucking angle. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, he's a little bit chunk. Oh, he's licking! Wanta was licking! Man, we never get fan service in Dangerous in my heart. Sometimes there are, but like, this is probably the most fan service episode so far, I think. Oh. He can't lift that up. Oh, coward? Because, like, it's not about who wins or loses. It's about giving Adachi closure, right? The whole thing of the duel happened because he realized that, oh, I see. It's Ichikawa and Yamada. I was never really in the race. But at the very least, I'd like to go out swinging. I challenge you to a duel, the man that won over Yamada. It's kind of like a closure thing, right? Mm -hmm. Very serious. It's a fucking duel, bro. Yep. yep. Salty. Who the fuck likes sweet eggs? Oh, he's lifting it? Sweeter ones. That's so close from getting an injury, bro. Does that, does that count as another indirect confession? I'm not really sure. <laughs> You're gonna cook a bento? Jesus! Okay, I see that. 
The bento. Moe pi. Kan kan. They get bullied by the seniors before. Makoto. Who is that? Koshite. I don't get that reference. Mokotan. Mokotan men guy. The ramen guy? Wait, wait, wait. The ramen shop that we visited? Hold up. What is the. Because, like, even the hand motion she's doing, isn't that, like, suggesting ramen? So, did she get a name of the ramen owner's restaurant? <laughs> what the. F she, she respects the ramen guy so much. She tattooed, not a tattoo, but ripped the fucking name on her forehead. Okay. Boom. What are you writing? These nuts. Hmm? And we can't see it either. Oh, come on. So like, okay, we're not going to be able to see what she wrote on the forehead until the moment where his, you know, headband might come off and it's going to be something impactful. What will it be? Did she write her own name there? I don't know. I love Yamada, it says there. I don't know. Oh, rainy duel? Rainy duel. Oh. Adachi? Adachi is getting a speech? He is serious. That's right. Fair play. At the very end. What did he say at the very end? Hold up, I missed it. And our members, our members, our members. And play fair with- Basically, members is kind of like a play on the word of like junk, right? Members could refer to like my dick. Like these nuts. So by him saying members at the very end and making an echo, it's like, oh, it's, it's almost like a... Like a corny joke, right? <laughs> it's a dick joke. <laughs> yeah. Arachi is being serious though. This is cool to see. Yurine! <laughs> Kankan! Dude, Kankan actually running with the mask on is actually such a disadvantage. Her, her, dude, her cardio must be crazy. Why she pull up from her pocket? You made that up. No, you just pulled that shit out of your pocket. <laughs> right in front of you. Yamada. Yamada. Panda. Yamada. Kyotaro. Ankan, you get it? Is that not mom? What the fuck is mom here? That's Yamada's mom. What? You <laughs> use the parents are here? I love you. What the fuck was that? The parents can get involved? <laughs> they just they just, just fucking around. <laughs> the team has to disqual for cheating. They cheated. I don't. I don't. I didn't realize the parents could just get involved like this. But that's nice to see. You know, yeah, my mom and yeah, my dad. Or the PS, the, the PlayStation shared again. Adachi, getting serious, man. He's serious about this, bro. <laughs> Yamada, ah, uh, what are you doing? Yamada! <laughs> today has to be the most fan service episode of Dangerous in My Heart. It's a horny ass episode today, huh? Adachi! <laughs> Adachi! <laughs> Your eyes! <laughs> That's what you like about him? <laughs> but today, it'll be different. Yeah. Oh, the rain. Yo, duel between men while it's raining. Oh shit, it's getting serious. No cavalry. What are they gonna change to? Adachi? Let the boys play. Yeah, let's do it. Cavalry in the fucking rain. Let them play. Adachi. Huh. <laughs> Look at the white, wet t-shirt. I'll make it quick. Wow. Let's go. Dude, it's getting serious. <laughs> the balls on Kyotaro to smack blonde mohawk. Hey, come on. We fucking run it down mid. Wow. Just so different now. Haircut buff. Nah, Yamada wants to watch. Are you doing it for yourself? 
クソのように嫌っていた友情とかいうもののためなもののためじゃない What's it about then? ただ山田僕は山田ゆきかせいだだってでもいつかをいいやったと思った It's not like he's a bad guy. No, it was never about that. It's just the bros. Just, you know, it's, it's hard when best friends like the same girl. I don't know if they're best friends, but you know, it's, it's that kind of thing, and they're trying to get everything cleared out right now. True. This is true. You don't know it. <laughs> Listen, listen, the second thing, yeah, for sure, right? The giddy chocolate having a little heart shaped nut, yeah, maybe that was a delusion. But it's not like Hyotaro also was a de like de fucking uh, delusional about a lot of the other shit. I wonder if the girls can hear this. They probably can't hear any of this, because if the girls could actually hear this, this would be really impactful, right? I'm gonna just assume that nobody can hear this right now except for the guys. <laughs> Damn, out. He knows. He sees a girl for what she is now. Not just an object to desire, not just because you see Big Booba and you get horny. She's more than just fan service. She's her own person with her own different things that we've seen. And like, damn, Ishikawa, dude, when he goes on these, like, not rants, but speeches or monologues. Even about like the speech, remember talking about his insecurities and stuff. It hits so deep. It's like, damn, he knows. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it, it is. It is. Oh. Give him a warrior's death. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> this is the best part. <laughs> what are these dudes thinking? They're like, what the fuck are they talking about? Bro, it's raining. I didn't even want to do this. And you're fucking crying about a girl. Bro, get on with it. I want to go eat lunch. God fucking damn this school. Damn. So emotional. It's just closure. But no one can hear it. The rain is washing all the decibels away. But like... Blonde Mohawk probably can hear it, right? Blonde Mohawk can hear it. Maybe Blonde Mohawk can be like, Hey, Yamada, by the way, the little twerp, he really likes you. I'm getting the chills, bro. I am getting the chills, bro. Yamada's crying. Come on. If I didn't know you, then it wouldn't hurt. Because, like, the fact that it's his friend that's, you know, going after Yamada, right? If I didn't know you, then you'd be a stranger and I wouldn't have to give a fuck about you like this. But, oh, this is getting deep. Carte. Counter! His forehead, though! The mark on her forehead! It's gonna pull it off, and what's it gonna say? I love Yamada or something, and Adachi, as he thinks that he's gonna win, he'll realize that he has lost. Before the match even started, due to what she wrote on the forehead, what is it? Kyo Anna. Kyo X Anna. Kyo X Anna. <laughs> yeah, this almost looked like. This almost looked like there's something else gonna happen here. The sunlight's actually shining between these two. <laughs> it's, it's fucking raining, and, the, and then the sunlight comes out for the boys. Ooh. I don't wanna lose. Now, Adachi may have won, but Itsuka still wins at the end of the day. Bro, you have Moiko! <laughs> what the fuck was that one lighter I have at the end? Whoa, that was deep. Loki, this might be my favorite character if he keeps doing shit like this. Like, I love side characters, remember? And this dude's entire thing, he was just like, just ca casually observing the entire thing, and he's like, <laughs> and the rain washes it all away. <laughs> just <laughs> closes the battle with an epic line. <laughs> the tears are what's getting washed away. Maybe the confession sounds as well, but damn, that's deep. <laughs> dude, what did she do? Because, like, last time she showed up in fish nets. This time, it's pretty much kind of like that stockings, like leopard print. What does she do? 
What does she fucking do, bro? <laughs> The thumbnail probably is just gonna be this with my face, you know, cropped into each color just like the last time. Oh my god, Arachi's mom is back. Yes. Yeah, she looks jealous. Oh. Wait, what is she? A nurse? You're a licensed nurse? I thought that she was a club hostess or something, bro. What the fuck? Zana. Oh, understands his place and clears out the room. Moiko? Moiko! Oh, hey. <laughs> Keep your head up, King. The love of your life might not be too far away from this, man. I'm just saying, these two, I totally see it. I totally see it. You look cool out there, man. <laughs> That's the fucking cover Moiko was using with Yamada and her. And then she gave it. I, I thought that she, it looked like a moment where she gave a fuck and was trying to wipe him down, but it's also like, here, take some weak towel. Hmm? Mama! Mama! Yeah, she is right. This is, I, I think it is her, right, Kana? Yo. <laughs> Get lost, kid. Rizzed. Rizzed. Oh, shit. Arachi's gonna be fucking her sister, man. No. Not like this. Not like this. No! It can't be! Okay, Eavesdropping. Hmm. This is actually such a valuable line. Is that the not forgetting that disappointment is the most important part of moving on. And you would think that's a little bit uh contradictory, right? How could you possibly move on if you're still fixated on a disappointment? But in, in competition, there's a saying that at a certain point, if you lose and you feel like you're not mad and you're like, it is what it is, you've lost a competitive drive. Remember Beyblade? What did Phoenix say to Jenga Hagane? There is no next time. You happy? Just because your friends won and you're making memories? If you're truly competitive, you want to move forward. You got to remember how shitty that feels. And remind yourself every fucking time, the next time you want to give up, remind yourself how shitty that felt, and then move on from that. Oh, the private school. Food. Yeah, she- Dude, that bento box is insane. I've never seen a bento box this big in my life. What the fuck? It's like four times the size, not just surface area alone. And in terms of volume, I don't even know, bro. How many layers? It's a buffet! It's a egg? Just egg rolls? What? That's, that's rice balls. Kind of getting chicken rice balls. Feed me. I hope, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. It's good! Wow. She can actually cook. It wasn't mom? Aww. Really? Oh. I, I don't know. Like... I wonder if she actually made this, or if like dad or mom made it. Can't eat this. Crazy, that's so much food. Yo, sister's still there? I want them to get the wrong idea. It's the right idea. Come on, man. He was pretty cool. Dude, that rice ball is the size of his head. I mean, shit, he needs to grow up, right? He needs to eat better. God damn, the sheer amount of food she packed is crazy. And that's today's episode of Dangers in My Heart. Dude, today's episode? Yeah, it was a down bad horny ass episode. But aside from whoring out a 14 year old for the sake of DVD sales, my god, this is a very impactful, impactful episode. Everything kind of comes to a head with Adachi and, you know, Kyotaro, because obviously they're pretty decent friends, if not best friends. I'm not sure if it's quite correct to call it best friends, but they are close. They're obviously chasing off the same girl, and it's been kind of building up this jealousy, and Arachi finally comes to, you know, challenge Ichika as he realizes that, yep, the double date, it was Yamada. I'm already lost. I've already lost, you know? They're pretty much together. But at the very least, I want to go out swinging. At the very least, I want some closure. And yeah, he did win, but at what cost, you know? As he grabbed that head, you know, the headband off, what happened? It revealed the mark, right? And it only says kill here, but can I assume that this basically said kill X 
I don't know. Uh, Anna? Or maybe just the fact that Kyo is in the forehead already implies that Yamada wrote it. And maybe the handwriting here is so fucking trash that it's obvious that it's Yamada who wrote Kyo. And Arashi realizes, yeah, I just... I'm just wasn't the king, man. I'm wasn't the king. Yamama! So, but hey! Arachi's mom is still here. At least Arachi's mom is here and we finally know her occupation. She's a licensed nurse. She can nurse me all she wants. And I think the real ship at the end of the day between Arachi is Moiko, man. Kind of hilarious how she just throws in a wet towel on his head. It should have been a dry one, but hey. I think that there's something special here, man. And that's it from me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.